Hey everyone. So, um, I was gone, but now I'm back, and I was sick, and I'm still kind of sick, but, um, I haven't really posted a video in a month. I haven't seen you guys in a month. Um, but, um, I am back now in the new year. Um, I have a lots of different, like, New Year's resolutions that I'm trying to achieve, one of which is improving this channel, making sure that I post every single week, maybe twice a week, I don't know, but, um, and I want to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. That is one of my biggest goals, um, so help me achieve that, you guys. Um, but uh, today I'm going to do a like walk around what's going on in my life vloggy type vlog. Um, I'm actually in Walt Disney World right now. Um, I So I was sick and then I had finals and then I was traveling and now my parents and I are in Walt Disney World and we're just going to be going to the parks for a couple of days and um, relaxing post New Year's. But I figured I would film my trip around Disney World and talk about my resolutions and whatnot. But I definitely want you guys, like whether you think New Year's resolutions is absolutely stupid or you don't think they're stupid and you've actually made your own resolutions, leave them in the comment section below because maybe it'll give me some sort of inspiration for new resolutions that I want. Um, yeah, so leave your resolutions in the comments below. Um, definitely leave comments. I love reading, reading comments. Sorry this introduction is so long. I don't even think I said hi. Hi guys. Um, but yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go bedtime um, once my clothes get out of the dryer so that we have something to wear tomorrow because they frown upon nudity in Disney and I'm not, not quite sure why. I'm gonna get my clothes out of the dryer and then I'm gonna go to bed and then I'm gonna go to Disney World with my parents. So I will see all of you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. I'm gonna go to bed. Goodbye. Um, I am now up and awake and we are about to go into the Disney parks. Um, but I think they're walking behind me, so I'm gonna keep walking. Um, but yeah, we are gonna go in, and we're gonna have so much fun. Um, but it's cold, and I'm still kind of sick, so I'm like bundled up from head to toe in clothes. Things you would bundle one in. Yeah. And here's Bob Hubanks to tell you what you've won. <laughs> a selfie stick. There's a whole sack of it over here. So. We just got in the park. Um, it's kind of raining a little bit. Um, oh, there's a squirrel. Um, um, but uh, my mom just got stopped at security because uh, she was trying to smuggle in a selfie stick. Um, but they, <laughs> they took it from her. But I don't know, that was kind of funny because we usually never get stopped at like security things. But then to not only A, get stopped, but B, have a legitimate reason to be getting stopped for a selfie stick. It's, it's kind of funny. So we just got off Tower, uh, not Tower of Terror, we got off the Rock and Roller Coaster and we're, we're walking through Hollywood and they got rid of the hat. Well wait, hold on. There. Well I mean you can't see what's not there because it's not there, they, they got rid of the hat. And... What? It's my mom. My dad. Do you want to go on camera? No? Okay. Hi you guys. Big my, times at Disney. It's my dad. My mom's. New Year. Over there. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's shy. No, but I'm I'm so mad. They, they got rid of the iconic part of Hollywood Studios, which is the big giant sorcerer's hat. A nice little um, status update. We were in Hollywood Studios, bopping around, doing our rides and whatnot. We did the Toy Story ride, which, as sad as it is, may be the best arm workout I've had in a long time. Um, so we did that. And then we did the Star Wars ride, which changed based on the new movie. And considering I haven't seen the new movie, then a lot of the references and things in there and the characters I'd never seen before, and it really didn't make sense. Um, it was good. Now we uh, we are walking through the boardwalk area to get over to Epcot, and we're going to pop into Epcot for a little bit, and then we're going to get some lunch. I don't know what music this is. No copyright. Anything. Don't you just feel like we're in China? Just, just feel it. Feel it. You feel it, ma'am? Do you please continue moving forward, filling in all the available space between you and the party in front of you. 
Once again, please keep moving forward, filling in all the available space between you and the party in front of you. Thank you, and enjoy your flight. Okay. So after getting a little bit of food, my father and I decided that we was going to go on Soarin, even though there's a 105 minute wait. So we're waiting in line. I'm going to be here for about a good hour and a half, hour and, uh, and 40 minutes. Uh, my mom's waiting outside. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to be uh, waiting here a good long time. And, uh, yeah. Oh my god, you guys, after an hour and a half. Look where we are. Almost at the front. Um, Soren's actually closing down for like about four, four months for um, refurbishing, and I don't know what that means, but we are, today is the last day that it's open, so we're actually riding one of the last Soren rides until the summer, so that's pretty cool. But, good God, it has been a boring hour and a half. We've done nothing, and I'll fill you in on the happenings no when way. we get out. Bye. And so I don't think it recorded for a couple of hours. We ended up getting dinner with some of our friends who live up in Ohio with us. They were down here, so we figured we would get dinner with them. Um, so we did, and now we are going to head out and do what was one of the main reasons why we came to Disney this year. So there is a, um, a light show. It's called the... Um, the Osborne Light Festival, um, and it's held every single year around like Christmas, New Year's time, um, and it's been going on for 20 years, and this is actually the last year that they're going to have it because they're expanding the park, um, the Disney park, out to make this Star Wars section and this Toy Story section, so they're getting rid of this big light show, and we've seen it almost every year for the past, well, maybe like five or six years. Um, so we're just going to kind of see it one last time because today is the last day that it'll be up and then they start taking it down. My mom and my dad and I were in the shop. My mom was shopping around and this woman actually stopped us um, and we started talking to her and it turns out that she is the late wife of the guy who helped um, program and make all the lights dance. Um, and he actually died a couple of years ago. So that was actually really, really cool that we came here to see the light show and we actually met um, the wife of the guy who made all that possible so that was really really fun so we are going to do all of that stuff so when I believe that the park closed at 11 I assume that that is when they would shut the lights off but apparently because of fireworks they shut the lights off at 10 o'clock oh, in the doing? evening but at least I'm looking where I'm going okay give you a little bit of backstory that dodge thing there what she dodged her little thing she was almost gonna run into you oh, sorry um, no there was a woman that was walking almost oh. <laughs> Got taken out by a little <laughs> Oh my god, I wish. Oh. <laughs> was, was that it? Thank you very much. Nope. <laughs> this might be the last light show of forever. Hey everyone, um, so I didn't record anything last night just because um, we finished the light show and then we all 
kind of fell asleep on the bus. We're just waiting to go out to the parks, uh, making sure that we got everything all ready and what's not and nonsense. Um, the kid is just stomping around. Um, but I like walk out on the balcony and hold on, hold on, let me just turn this around. Look you guys, it's a zebra and three little ox things and and that kid on the balcony again. But I look and there's a bird over there like right to the right of that pile of poop. Like look at all the wildlife you guys, this is so cool. I wanted to see a giraffe though. I wanted him to like come up to the window and lick my face. Just have a giraffe come up and just, you can pet it and it just like, with this long, just, you know, dog lick, but giraffe, you know, that would be fun. But yeah, so we're gonna go into the parks. Um, we're starting in Epcot and then we're doing other park related garb. I don't know what we're gonna do. It'll pretty much just be kind of on the fly. The light show was like the big thing that we wanted to see and we saw it and now it's over for the rest of our lives. I don't know, it was kind of sad last night because it was like the ending of one of m at least my childhood traditions and like I guess like something that we kind of, my parents and I and my brother like forged together. Oh my god, what, what animal is that? Uh, wait, it was just a tree. No, there's definitely something over there. I don't know. But yeah, it was like like a, a tradition or something that we just kind of like came up with and then it was something we did almost every year and now it's over forever. I wish that they would do something else with the lights um, like they could utilize them and put them somewhere else in the park um, I don't know if they will um, Disney if you're watching this that's what you should do. I swear there was an animal right there and now it's gone. Oh, is it a it's an ostrich! Wait hold on! Do you see it? It's right okay so there's a the tree in the middle of the screen and there's something like kind of moving. You see it? It's an ostrich. It's an ostrich, you guys. Can you say ostrich? Good. I wonder if like they know that they're in captivity. Like they know that they are not in the wild, that this is not what the wild is. Um, but like I wonder if the zebras and the oxen and the ostrich know that this is not their natural habitat. If you find one, or like a zebra or an ostrich or an oxen, ask him and put it in the comments below. My mission for you. So we walked around for a little bit and now we are in this massive aquarium. Um, one of our friends works as a diver here, so um, we are just going to maybe meet up with him for a little bit and then look at all the fish. I am absolutely exhausted. Now we are on our way to Magic Kingdom just to go by and catch a couple more rides, um, possibly see the fireworks, and then grab some dinner. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing, but I'm going to... yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on. It feels like Christmas. Hmm? I said it feels like Christmas and fun. Have fun. Watch a video. So pretty. Hey everyone, so um, we came back from Magic Kingdom and then we took showers and whatnot and now I feel really, really tired and I kind of feel like my body is made of soup or jello or some other type of semi-solid gelatinous substance because I just feel like I could just melt into a rather large armchair. 
but we are gonna go hang out with some of our friends from Florida. We are gonna get some food, hopefully, question mark, because I'm starving. Um, but this is kind of my end of my Disney trip. I don't know if I'll film something in the morning. I'm not even in focus. Wow, good job me. And the lighting sucks. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Um, I have big things planned for 2016. Um, so make sure that if you like this video, give it a big fat old juicy thumbs up. If you want to see me in your subscription box every single week, then click that subscribe button and um, share my video and my channel with your friends and family and everybody else that you know. Um, if you really like my channel and you want other people to see it and to bring my subscriber numbers up because that would be lovely and I would love that. And make sure to leave comments in the comment box below because I love to read comments and different stuff like that. Um, so comment stuff below. I think earlier in the video I said to comment your New Year's resolutions, so do that. And I will see all of you guys the next day that ends in Y. Bye guys.